Toyin was murdered in Tallahassee after going missing. Uh, she was a Florida protester, uh, apparently like very widely known. She was 19 years old on the front lines, you know, fighting for justice for Breonna Taylor and George Floyd. Uh, she actually well, was the victim of sexual assault in more than one occasion before that, um, before that protest. And in some tweets that she tweeted out before, uh, before she went missing, she tweeted about an experience where she was at a protest and somebody offered to give her a ride back to her church where her belongings were. And that person ended up, you know, sexually assaulting her in his home. Um, I think this is for me, this goes along the lines of, you know, black women being out there doing the work on the front lines, taking the risk, taking the chance Mm -hmm. and like becoming a victim. You got to protect yourself. Uh, You got to protect yourself. It, it, it's not the common to take rides from strangers. I, I would ne- I would never take a ride from a stranger ever in life. Yeah, like, but like hitchhiking. Like, would you ever hitchhike? So, actually, you know what? Fuck no. I lied. You Real hitchhiked? Quick. I didn't hitchhike. So remember when I told you I went um, hiking? Yes. A couple weeks ago, we did get lost. Long story short, there was another family there, and it's the only reason why it even worked out. It was like a, a, a like a Jewish or Middle Eastern family. Um, Definitely a Middle Eastern family. Uh-huh. Um, and they gave us a ride. Their brother, they, they were also lost as well. And mm-hmm. they were parked right next to us. And their brother came and picked them up. And that is the only time that I took a ride with strangers. I was with my sister and my girl. But like it was us three. And then it was like them four. And we just made it work. It was cool. It was, actually, it was them three. It was, but it was love. And a lot of in some of her tweets also she noted she noted that she's very very spiritual and she felt like the guy that was helping her was like a you know a sign from God to help her out and I listen I I, I, get, that. I I'd, get that I'd I'd never take a ride from a stranger that's me but you know you just even think if, like a divine timing you're like oh my God exactly and you. and somebody's in like and there's this there's this feeling of unity right when you guys are out there protesting it's it's black man uh, it's tough, black man. woman I'll give you a ride yeah I can see black I can man see black it's very woman easy to fall into that we're out here fighting for the right shit um so you're gonna you're gonna trust that you know they're on the up and up and she did that um and then ultimately the suspect that was captured for her um for her murder was a black man uh was an older black man why are we not you know, doing the best that we can to to make sure that when women are out there with us, we're we're protecting, we're protecting them. them. And then, I mean, I want to say this is later, but it also goes into that that whole thing of like, what do we do on a daily basis to really like acknowledge and protect Black women? Because there is, I know both of you. I mean, both of us are hip hop fans, and you know, I I know me growing up, there was a lot of music that my mom and grandma didn't want me listening to specifically right. for that reason, yeah. specifically for the terminology and songs that, um, that degraded black women, you know, bitches ain't shit, but by, by Snoop Dogg, it's, 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 it's a thing, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and, and we commercialize it and we pop a lot and we make it more popular. Um, I was about to make a word <laughs> that wasn't going to be good. We popularize it. Yeah. They're, they're, popularize. Could be. <laughs> Why <laughs> we have to Google Popularize it. could work. You're right. We have to not only in these moments um, do a better job at making sure that our, our women are safe, but also like what are we doing in our home? And I've seen a lot of different conversations amongst that, especially this past weekend. I know we didn't really speak much about it, but it was Juneteenth. And there was a lot of protests going on on Juneteenth. And I was mm-hmm. watching a couple of different clips on social media. And in that, a gentleman was saying that same exact thing. He's like, we can't come here and we can't protest and say Black Lives Matter if we don't go home and treat our woman right. Yeah. And I, that's not my quote. That was his quote. And I think it was a beautiful quote. But it's just like, it just puts things in perspective. It's like, hey, man, we have to do this on all cylinders. We can't go around protesting and Black Lives Matter, but like, yet yeah, a black person just committed a crime killing this young lady. So like we just have to we have to treat ourselves better. We have to respect ourselves, but also protect ourselves. Um, we're fighting a, a a huge fight right now, right? The fight is between us and um, systematic racism, right? Mm-hmm. So right now is not the time to be killing each other. There's 24 shootings in New York this weekend, non police related. 24 shootings. So like just to put things in perspective, we have to. It starts with us. We have to like protect our people, but also care for our people more. Um, and not put ourselves in those positions. And, and I also want to take this time out to say, like, my heart goes out to anyone who's been sexually assaulted or um, sexually abused verbally, w- w- any type of form, physically. Um, prayers that you go through a uh, amazing healing period. You go through a time where, like, 
that, that you're healed from this and this experience because it's traumatizing, man. And, and I don't know what that's like. And I don't, I can't imagine what that's like at night or just to be outside in public again. Mm-hmm. This poor young lady was assaulted multiple occasions, man. Yeah. Multiple and times. So like for me, like, it's like, it's like that shouldn't be happening in the first place, but then it's a recurrence. It's, it's very sad. So my prayers go out to those who are affected. And I just pray that like, you know, and but I, I th- things change, man. I think it. I think it also goes to the point where um, later in the article, one of her friends is telling a story about how one of the first times she was sexually assaulted, she had to go to the police, and the police just didn't investigate the way that she felt like they should have. And right, um, I think that happens with black women a lot. Um, their yeah, stories, the they don't. Their stories are never heard. The stories aren't heard. They're not taken seriously. Mm-hmm. And it's also like what we talked about. Also, like black women are hyper, more hypersexualized than any other group of women from time like you see a black woman in high school or junior high school and people look at her and just assume that she's older than she is or assume that she's fast or assume that she's this or that she's that we're all we're listen we're all guilty of as adolescents and even sometimes as adults like joining in and like having those type of conversations about you know a girl's like sexual activity Lori harvey we've been she's been on the radar for some time (laughs) what's the matter everything okay just want to take a sip of water (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but but it's but but it's but it's it's that thing where it's like you know if a black woman says she was raped there's so many so many questions that are asked before we just believe what she says or if she says she was assaulted so many questions about well did you you know did you entice somebody did you seduce them and then there's also that thing in, in some black families also where you know you have it's that taboo. that uncle or that cousin um that sexually assaulted uh, a black female in the family and people don't believe the black girl like they ask, hey, like, oh, she's fast. Oh, she wanted it or something like that. And they just totally ignore it and sweep it under the rug. Uh, just a total, like, just the way that we acknowledge and the worth that we put into the word and the actions and the trauma of black women needs to definitely improve. 